What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to figure out what apps are draining your phone's battery while it's sitting in your pocket. Android uses a set of permissions that apps can request to perform certain actions, and you're notified of these permissions when you install an app. Only problem is, you aren't given a chance to deny these permissions. One such permission is the dreaded wake lock. This allows apps to either keep the screen on, or even just keep the processor running even when the screen is off. It's a necessary evil in some cases because it allows apps to keep their data synced even when you're not using them. This comes in handy if an app posts notifications, for instance. But this comes at a great expense in terms of battery life. When your phone is off, instead of entering sleep mode, you can have several different apps waking up the CPU and eating away at your battery. Well, developer Usum Apps has created a great tool for rooted users that can hunt down the most notorious wake lock holders on your Android device so that you can deal with them one way or another. It's called Wake Lock Detector and a free version is available on Google Play, so go ahead and download it at your leisure. When you first launch Wake Lock Detector, it's going to ask for super user privileges, so grant it those. It may take a minute to build up the list of all the biggest battery consuming apps on your phone. The developer recommends that you either have 90% of battery life remaining when you first run this, or if not, you can perform a reboot to let the app accumulate the proper data. So once you've done that, you can have a look at which apps are draining your battery when you're not even using them. The list is ordered by longest wake lock held, so you can see on my phone that the biggest culprit here is Google Search. If you tap an entry, it'll show you all the services that this app uses to hold wake locks. These are also ordered by amount of time holding the wake lock. All of this information is nice to have, but it's a matter of what you do with the knowledge that it gives you. Obviously, you can just uninstall or disable the apps that have the biggest wake locks, which would be an optimum solution. So for most users, one of the biggest wake lock culprits here is going to be the Facebook app. I'm using it as an example, since you could simply uninstall the app and only use the mobile website to access Facebook. That would save a lot of battery life. But something like Google Search, which also doubles as the stock launcher on this Nexus 5, is not something I want to uninstall. So what are my options? Well, remember the wake lock permission is given to apps that ask for it, but there are ways that you can revoke individual permissions like these if you're rooted. One option is something like AppOps Exposed, which brings back Android's granular permissions management service that was removed in KitKat. My personal favorite is another Exposed module called App Settings. This one lets you do tons of other cool things to individual apps like forcing tablet layout in immersive mode, for instance. But it also lets you revoke specific permissions on a per-app basis. So on my phone, where Google Search is the biggest wake lock culprit, I can find that app in this list. Then just toggle the App Settings for this one to On, and then at the bottom, hit the Permissions button. Right at the top of this menu is a toggle for Revoke Permissions. Turn that one on, then scroll down this list until you find the Wake Lock Permission. These are in alphabetical order, so it'll be somewhere towards the bottom. Now just tap the Wake Lock Permission, and you can see it gets crossed out. From here, hit OK, then tap the Save icon at the top. It'll ask if you want to kill the app temporarily so that the new permission changes can go into effect. So hit OK here. Now Google Search can no longer keep my CPU awake while I'm not using my phone. This will definitely save battery, but I'll obviously lose some functionality, because Google Search can no longer update itself while I'm not using it. This means that location tracking services and notifications will no longer work with Google Search, but it's a trade-off that I'm willing to make if it means better battery life. Obviously you'll have to use your own discretion here, but assume that the app you give this treatment to will no longer post notifications or accumulate any data while your screen is not turned on. And you can repeat this process for all of the biggest battery hogs on your phone, so you should see some significant gains in battery life. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy gadget hacking.